Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to, or welcome back, to the Leo Season Daily Marathon. This is your reading for today, July 28th. Happy birthday to all of my July 28th Leos out there. Thank you for being here, for watching, and for supporting this channel. No matter if you are a Leo sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, or any strong placement, you could still resonate to the Leo season daily marathon. We're just looking into the energy every day, opposed to every other day or every third day. So, these aren't just, this is your birthday reading and this is yours only. You can resonate to these readings in all ways, shapes, and forms. It's still looking into the energy of Leo. So let's see, your fortune is romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. All right, so some of you may be definitely be opening up to love in a new way. You could align with someone today or around today. You may get an invite or an opportunity that sets you up in meeting a romantic partner doesn't necessarily mean that you know at that moment that you're being set up per se, but there could be a event or opportunity. Sorry, I just like, there's a little bug over here. I think it's from the plant. <clears throat> but anyway, there could be definitely something that happens for you today or happens for you in this energy that sets you up for a romantic partner a new soulmate, aligning or realigning with a soulmate that you're already familiar with. But love is set to sizzle. So let's see what we have as your angel for the day, Leo. And you have take a step back. Ooh, thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. All right. This is a very interesting energy. If there has been a romantic energy in your life that you know is no longer serving you, is you know it's not what you want, is you know that it's not going to go anywhere. Now is your time to take a step back and to give yourself clearance for that type of soulmate that you actually do want. So it's very interesting here. This angel is giving you a sense of let love come to you. Because it looks like the theme for romance and the luck in love is high no matter what you're doing. But there is a strong need for a lot of you to take a step back from an energy that you already know that's not serving you. When this angel comes out, this gives me an awareness that you have either had a thought at one point or had an intuitive feeling at one point that you just knew something wasn't for you. And you're not wrong. It's not because there is better love for you out there. There is better relationships for you out there. So let's see what other angel is coming through. And you also have synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Yeah, because I feel like for some of you, you may have been... So focused on a certain someone or a certain situation that you haven't been seeing the signs of synchronicity. You haven't been seeing the signs of what to do in a connection or a situation. Because I feel like for a lot of you here, this is going to show you that certain things were right in front of your face or certain energies were always available for you. You just weren't in the position of seeing it. But when you step back, and when you perceive as a third energy and not being in the energy, you're able to see things so much more clearly. So it looks like the signs are going to start like really popping out at you around this time. They're going to start to connect. Things are going to start to make sense. And you're going to understand who or what is exactly holding you back from that true love energy. Because for some of you, I'm going to say it doesn't necessarily have to be that there is a energy of love circulating you that you're like, all right, I know this is not for me. How do I get this person to stop revolving their energy around me? And, or, you know, it doesn't have to be romance. You could feel like there's a friend that just every time you tell them you're dating someone new, they always just have something to say. 
um, family member even. Take a step back from those energies. Those energies may not be serving you. They may be holding your belief system back for being open to love. So let's see, your Moonology card is a new romantic cycle begins. I mean, I'm so sorry if you wanted this to be a general reading, but it's not. They're talking about love. They are talking about romance. I mean, and boy, are the spirit guides coming in crazy for these Leo seasons. The word play is coming in hot. They're like, no, no, no. I'm going to make sure you know what this reading's about. New moon in Libra. Some of you have Libra energy around you or in your chart, but I mean, there you go. <laughs> romance is set to sizzle. A new romantic connection cycle begins. So it looks like for a lot of you, there is new love coming your way. A totally new cycle with love for sure. Let's see what your fortune is from this deck. I swear if y'all get something more about love. And we have the moon. Pay attention to your, to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Yeah, there is some energy in or around your energy that you just know not to tell this person anything. You just know to keep to yourself. Or you just know now, all right, yeah, that's not the one for me. Your intuition is going wild crazy it's trying to tell you so many different things and oh my gosh i can't love love surrounds all of your connections move forward positively in all areas of your life that's crazy would be right at the bottom of the deck okay so leo the connections to your emotional energy is going to be super high around this time, but I don't feel like it's a high, strong energy that's causing you to be all over the place. I feel like it's a, ooh, this is making me curious. What could this be? What could I have from this? So really strong energy of relationships moving up and or totally new love, new romantic cycle here. Let's see what your astrology has. As well, Leo, we are going to have a new moon in Leo on August 4th. You are next in the moon cycle. So from now to August 4th, with them bringing up the moon here, I would pay very close attention to the signs you are getting and the way things are happening for you because it looks like from this point forward to that August 4th, some of you, you're already feeling the vibes, already getting the offers, already seeing the signs, but it's going to definitely peak at a certain moment between now to that new moon in Leo. So let's see, your first astrology card is Neptune with Sacrifice, card number 10. We also have Black Moon Lilith with Mystery. Oh my gosh. Y'all get this card a lot when love comes through. So that's showing me that for a lot of y'all Leos, y'all could have been in some relationships that felt very dark. Very dark. Very, very dark. And you have the energy of the first house, the body. Card number 25. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. So there is something you are physically doing that is bringing you this person. There is something that is you are physically doing that is bringing you this new romantic cycle. And it looks like you are moving out of attracting in those cycles that feel dark, those cycles and those people that feel like almost like a punishment not like a blessing in love. I almost feel like some of y'all may have felt like almost like is the universe like punishing me. I feel like for some of you, you may have made some mistakes in your love life in the past. Um, Nobody's perfect, right? I have as well. And I feel like there has been a moment in time in your love life journey where you may have had a reflection moment of like, hold on. 
what's going on here? Like, what have I been doing? What am I doing that's attracting in these types of people? Or what type of energy do I have that keeps me stuck in this cycle? There is going to be some sort of connection you have to some sort of movement in your body, some sort of first house energy where it the light bulb goes off in the head. You know, the first house is ruled by Aries. Aries is ruled by the brain, the head, those types of, well, not the brain per se, okay? They're ruled by the head in a general sense. So I feel like something is going to finally become obvious to you and also make a connection to you mentally as well. Because I feel like for a lot of you, Leos, A, you may have been very self-sacrificial in relationships. We're always overextending yourself, always like allowing or accepting the energy you knew you kind of really didn't want. And I kind of feel like this energy gives me a, oh my gosh, am I finally about to move out of my bad luck and love type of energy? And the answer is yes. But you have to free willingly take a step back from what no longer serves you. Free will. I bring that up all the time because it's a real big factor here. It's always a factor when you watch readings of free will. You're being guided to take a step back from what's no longer serving you. So you're either going to take a step back or you're going to continuously be tempted by the mystery. You're going to continuously be tempted by the darkness. You're going to continuously be tempted by, well... What if I did give that person another chance who I know has been hurting me for the last five years? It's like, well, you kind of know what if already, but if you want to go through another sacrificial cycle of your own suffering, then be the universe's guest. But you have a chance to free willingly get out of this energy right now. And it looks like they're going to bring you a soulmate to help you do this. So let's see what we have in the tarot. This person may definitely um, be uh, more... I'm kind of getting, like, personality traits. This person may be someone who stays to themselves a little bit more. It's like they're not, like, super outward. Um, I don't really feel like this person is, like, the life of the party, per se. Like, this new soulmate energy. Doesn't mean... I'm not getting that they're boring, but, like, I feel like this person is more to themselves, Let's see. We have the two of wands. There you are taking a step back from what no longer serving you, choosing the new path forward, no longer bending over backwards or doing things you really know you don't really want to do. We have the ace of wands. I mean, there it is. There it is. There's the new wand. There's the new person. There's the new cycle. And you also have the devil. There it is again. So, very, very synchronized reading. It looks like even just the clarifications are clarifying the general message once more. And I feel like for a lot of you, there is such a strong connection here where you are really understanding why certain experiences have happened to you in your romantic life in any way, shape, or form. Either because of things that you've done or things that you allowed to be done. But it looks like you are no longer... You know what this energy gives me? You are no longer giving into temptation. So like if an energy thought that they can come in and reel you back in or they could get you to be in their energy again. I feel like this person was able to do that at one point in time. But I don't feel like they're going to be able to do it any longer. And I feel like as you take that step back, the new love just comes right in. So let's clarify this again. Two of Wands to Justice. Beautiful. That final decision and saying, no, I'm not going to allow this to be my life. I can choose differently. The Ace of Wands to the Temperance. Yeah, I'm telling you, <clears throat> this new soulmate has come in specifically as you save yourself from what no longer serves you. They may come in and seem like that um, hero type of energy. You know those people that you meet or you come across and you're kind of like, wow, how did you know 
that I needed someone like you. That's the type of energy I feel from this person. And on the devil, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh-oh. Okay, no wonder why you're getting this type of message. Because you're going to be tested. Duh. That's why you have to take a step back. You are going to be tested. And honestly, I would say during your birthday season around this time is probably the most when you would feel tested. Because... That's when people like to come out of the woodworks and the shadows and the this and the that and the other. You're going to be tested for sure. Some of you feel tested right now and you're like, yep, Miss Machise, this person over here. I got this person over there I'm trying to find my way to clear myself out for new love. Um, and you will. If you decide to take a step back, don't give in. You already know what's going to happen when you give in and you're just going to repeat the cycle that you no longer want to be in. So you have a big, big chance right now to break the cycle in your romantic love life, step into a new one with either a new person or a totally new frequency. I'm going for a new person because it looks like if you get tempted back into the past, they are going to make you feel like you're crazy all over again in a sense. Let's clarify. The lovers, the hermit. There you go. The universe is saying, I don't care how connected you feel to this person. There is like a trauma bond here in some way, shape or form. And they are so guiding you to go hermit on this person. Going hermit on this person and choosing yourself is going to bring you a totally new romantic lover. And when the devil comes out to this type of energy, they may not bring you the new cycle, new energy right in your face right away. A real test is when you do it on your own. Not because, oh, okay, well, I just met a new person, so I'll give them a chance. You can go. No, no. This might be an energy where they are saying to you, in your own solitude, the hermit, will you choose yourself? If there is no other love options around at the moment, will you still choose yourself over this energy that you know is not good for you? Because it looks like the reward is that new energy. The reward for the test is that divine soulmate. So let's get some cards about this person. What do you want Leah to know about this newer energy? You know what I feel like for some of you too? I feel like these energies could have been both around you for a bit. And you've been constantly giving to the one that you know that you shouldn't be. Let's see. We have the Eight of Cups. So this person is going to come from you walking away. And the Star. I mean, oh my gosh. Let's clarify again. That eight of Pentacles. Eight, eight. Okay, whoever they are aligning you with or trying to align you with or realign you with, this person is a good energy. They don't make you feel stressed. They don't make you feel like you're freaking out. They put in the effort. They make you feel like you're not stuck in the past. There is such big movement for you in your love life and setting yourself up to a new soulmate right now. It is wild. And this soulmate is divinely guided into your life. Temperance and the star... It kind of gives me hero energy. It gives me that like, some of you may meet this person and be like, where have you been my whole life? Or why haven't I talked to you this whole time? I did not know we would get along like this. There is something going on here where you just giving a new energy the chance or you just even giving yourself a chance and saying, you know what? I'm going to save my own self. I don't care if there's no new love around me right now. I don't need that to be fulfilled. I'm going to fulfill myself and boom. That's literally how magic happens. So get ready for this. Get ready for this because it looks like for a lot of you Leos, if love hasn't tried to come into your energy, it will definitely start to now. And I want y'all to be very, very observant, very observant from now <clears throat> to August 4th. There is going to be some type of movement here. 
And that may also make sense as to why I feel the... Some of you may have to make this choice without new love around you already to really show the universe that you will save yourself from things that no longer serve you either. Because that's what's kind of like what it's giving me. And that's like the law of attraction, right? Being your own hero will attract in someone who feels like a hero, you know? So, huh. there you go. In terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could be around you or in your chart, we have Neptune ruled by Pisces. We have Justice with Libra. We also have New Moon and Libra up there as well. We have Sagittarius. We have the first house ruled by Aries. We got Gemini here. We got Capricorn, Virgo, and I think I said Aquarius, but yes, Aquarius. You also have the moon here. That is ruled by Cancer. Let's see. Your divine master is the Atlean... Okay. The Atlanteans. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know me in pronunciation. Evolution, vibration, legacy, technology, progress, except, expect, acceleration. Mm-hmm. Something's about to accelerate here in your love life. That's crazy. Wow. All right. The Atlanteans. The only thing, I like, I like this deck a lot. I do enjoy. I do enjoy. And if you like any of the decks I have, check out my Amazon storefront. But sometimes it's hard to find them in the book. Okay. Legend has it that Atlantis was an advanced civilization that existed thousands of years ago in the center of the Atlantic Ocean. Its people were highly evolved and had many spiritual gifts. They were telepathic, psychic, and known for their ability to combine the laws of science and nature with spirituality to develop technology and create heaven on earth. But somewhere along the way, many of them stopped respecting their gifts and spiritual connection. This caused a cataclysm. What the heck is that? This caused a great cataclysm. Whatever. That brought their civiliza civilization to an end. The Atlanteans of this card are those who continue to live with spiritual integrity and awareness. When Atlantis came to an end, many of these beings ascended beyond the physical dimension now act as a congregation of evolved souls who, like angels, work with those who are following the spiritual path and want to lead the legacy of light. Your message with this card is you are a future thinker who will leave a legacy of healing and light. Think beyond boundaries and keep your future and the future of your close ones in mind when it comes to making a decision. Atlantean energy is here to help you align your pathway with one that supports the evolution of your soul and your family lineage. This is a time of transcending old ways of being and old patterns, so you might not always be easy to navigate, but it will be worth it in the long run. Ideas, creativity, and new technological concepts are all around you right now. When it comes to forging new pathways, think of the future, cut out any long-winded approaches, and streamline everything you are doing. This is a time of evolution, so there's a good chance of resistance from old energies and the ego. If you feel challenged or encounter any growing pains, know that you're on the right track. Persevere now. It will be well worth your while. See, even they're bringing up you're going to be tested a little bit. And that makes sense. When there is a time for evolution, there is a good chance of resistance from old energies. And that's how energy works. I, I wish I could like illustrate the way I see in my brain how energy works. Like when you are about to accelerate, there is 100% usually something right there that needs to be removed. Like say you're accelerating like this and then boom. There's the challenge. Are you over your past? Are you do have the same belief system? Are you ready for the acceleration? The ego, I don't deserve this, this, that, and the other. If you break through it, think how long it stayed there, right? It's been building up the energy, building up. So then when you break through those cycles and you break through, you just take a step back and you remove it, it goes fine, you know? So hopefully my hands helped. Um, but that's what I have here for you, Leo. Happy birthday once again. 
Thank you for being here and for watching. I know this reading came out a little bit late. I'm so, so sorry. Um, this week was a little bit crazy, this first week of Leo season. But I scheduled myself and routine a little bit better. So I will be able to get you guys out the day before the day of. Right. Even though in some of you in the other side of the world, it is like actually on the day of that it's supposed to be. Although for people that are around where I live, it probably is going to seem a little bit early. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. So subscribe and ring that bell to all like this video if you have not already. If you would like to book with me and or get a numerology report done by me, check my Etsy shop down below. If you want to shop any of these cards or any of the gifts. On my Amazon storefront, you can also find that link down below. I forgot to link it on my other two videos, y'all. I'm just not a seller. I'm just not, like, I I don't think, I like, I'm not an influencer. It's hard. I forget to influence, you know? So, it's difficult. So, I'm so sorry I didn't link the other ones on my other recent videos. But you can find it down there now. So, love you guys, Leos. Bye now.